Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Play Arts Kai, maybe Kingdom Hearts 2 Halloween version of Sora. I'm not familiar with Kingdom Hearts since the very first one, and that was ages ago. Someone let me borrow this to review it, so I'm going to review it for you guys, because it's kind of a cool, it's kind of a unique figure, and I know a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans are out there. So if I get anything wrong, canonically speaking, which is mostly everything I'm going to say probably, uh... You can correct me, but I can review the figure as a figure, so you guys can judge whether it's accurate or not for yourself. I did notice it seems to me like his pants and feet might be a bit oversized based on the uh, game images I found, uh, but again, that's up to you guys. You can decide. Figure's pretty cool though, so let's get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 20 and a half centimeters to the top of his hair, which makes him just about... Maybe eight and a quarter inches. He's got some size to him, though he's not one of the larger Play Arts Kai figures. He's very aesthetically pleasing. It does look... You instantly know it's from Kingdom Hearts. It's a cool design. I like it a lot. So let's look at the accessories first, because we've got quite a few. Uh, we have a bunch of these interchangeable masks. I guess they're masks. They don't really go over his face, though. You guys can tell me what these things are supposed to be. I don't know. But we have this orange one that looks kind of like a pumpkin. Then we have a red one that looks kind of like an angry bird, but not really. Uh, then we have a purple one that looks kind of like a, um, I don't know, some kind of purple thing in a hat. Then we have one that mixes the two together, one that's a silver heart, and one that's kind of like a goldish bronze crown. So lots of options there. Interchangeable hands include two fist hands, two style pose hands, and two gripping hands for the swords. We have one which is what I believe is the Keyblade, and one that is like a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween combination, candy cane thing. I don't know what that is. But we have it. And they look nice, very well detailed, very well put together. I like those accessories. In terms of the figure, the paint is nice. We have some shading throughout the blacks, lots of nice line work. For the most part, for the whites and grays and various details for strings and straps and belts. So it looks good. The face looks really good. Uh, they're definitely better at the anime looking faces rather than the uh, realistic faces, that's for sure. In terms of articulation, we have a double ball peg for the neck, which gives him really good range. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Really good range for the neck. And then the whole neck can move around like that. The whole collar and everything moves with it. Only problem is when you go forward, you do get a gap in the back right here. For the shoulders, they are the ball hinge shoulders with nothing else. So they have pretty good range, but not the best. They don't go too far up, fully to the side, but nothing crazy. Bringing them around to the front where it's soft plastic just doesn't work that well. Full rotation, also not going to work that well due to the shape of the jacket. So be aware of that. Your bicep swivel it comes out of that ball hinge also, so it's a little bit limited. You do have your single jointed elbow, which rotates around at both ends. Same thing for the wrist, a nice big wrist ball hinge, which looks good and works well. For the torso, we have a double ball peg right here, which looks good on the front, except there's a big gap. Anytime you really move it, there's a big, big gap. I don't know why they made the ball peg so long without accounting for it with the sculpt. It's very disappointing that he has that giant gap there, but it is highly functional. And then the lower one is really good. There's no gaps at all and super functional. So that's up to you. You're just going to have to kind of hide that gap, but otherwise it looks really good. For the hips, you would expect they're going to function a little bit differently than normal play arts, and that's kind of true. They work really well going out to the side, no problem. It's the same internal engineering, it's just the external sculpt that's an issue, which is why they don't go too far forward. They're just a little bit too bulky, and the crotch piece doesn't really afford any extra range. You do get a bit of a thigh swivel out of it, so that's pretty good. The knees are hidden inside here, so they drop back like that, which works pretty well. I'm pretty happy about that. I like it. I think it works nicely. Just a single ball hinge for that, though. Now, here's something I don't like. The ankle hinge is another ball hinge, but it comes right here, right at the top of the boot. This red part should definitely go deeper, and then the hinge should be down in here, because right now... It's not great that the ankle hinge happens at the very top of the boot, which is really where the shin would be. It's not a terrible thing, but it's not great. It is a ball hinge, though, so you can use it if you need to to give yourself an ankle rocker. But you really don't need to because they use this kind of... Let's use this one. 
We use this kind of swivel joint on the foot, which I don't normally love, and I still don't, but it works much better for this kind of fat foot than some of the thinner ones. So you get yourself an ankle rocker pretty easy on there, and you get a pretty nice toe hinge, though it's not great. So is this the best figure in the world? Probably not, but if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, then it's one you should pick up. It has a, only a few issues, and it is really aesthetically pleasing. Lots of fun to have, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have new videos up every single day. I talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, unboxings, lots of fun things. So come back for that, and in the meantime, keep collecting.